This is Yard Barker's Chris Muller, and here are three things to watch in week four of the NFL season. We should get a sense of whether the 2-1 and one Cleveland Browns really have something going on or not when they travel to Dallas to take on the Cowboys. Dallas is offensively explosive, but they're terrible on defense, ranking 30th in the league in points allowed through three games. The Cowboys are particularly vulnerable against the pass. They're second to last in the league in touchdown passes allowed so far this season. That begs the question, will the Browns try to turn Baker Mayfield loose, or will they stick to their run-heavy attack and continue to try and insulate their quarterback? Whatever strategy Kevin Stefanski and his coaching staff adopt in this game, once it's over, we should have a much better idea of whether or not one of the league's most hyped teams is actually going to contend this season. Is it panic time in New Orleans? The Saints are now 1-2, and two, and Drew Brees was outdueled in his own building by Aaron Rodgers in primetime. Why are some worried about Brees and the Saints? It's pretty simple, actually. He doesn't take any shots downfield. Michael Thomas's absence, of course, hurts the offense a great deal, but Brees has the lowest average air yards per pass at 4.8 in the NFL, and the next closest quarterback on the list is over a yard better. Dinking and dunking can only work for so long before defenses stop honoring any thought of a deep throw and sell out to stop the short stuff. The book on Brees has been that his arm gets fatigued as the year wears on, especially lately, but that's happening earlier than ever before, it appears, this season. New Orleans' schedule isn't tough until at least a meeting with the Bears on November 1st, so they need to make hay right now or risk getting left behind by a Buccaneers team that appears to be finding itself after a sputtering Week 1 start. The biggest matchup of Week 4 is a powerhouse tilt between the Patriots and the Chiefs. Kansas City has looked unstoppable despite not really delivering their best performance in any of their three wins. New England also looks like a force to be reckoned with. Cam Newton has breathed new life into the offense. And while Bill Belichick barely stopped Patrick Mahomes in Kansas City in 2018 and couldn't solve them last season, he might have something new up his sleeve for this game. Newton's dynamic abilities might also give the Patriots a real boost. A New England win would make a major statement, but if the Chiefs thump the Patriots, they'll further reinforce the notion that no one in the NFL can come close to them and that the AFC race is already a foregone conclusion. So there you have it, three things to watch for in week four of the NFL season. For Yard Barker, I'm Chris Muller.